one very important issue that delegates are dealing with at the PP10 plenipotentiary for the ITU is the planning for how the ITU is going to be run administratively uh, over the years ahead. Uh, I have here Bruce Gracie, he's the chair of Committee 6, which deals with strategic planning and financial planning. Now, tell us some of the issues that you're having to deal with here at the PP10. Well, as you mentioned, the uh, draft strategic plan is before Committee 6 for approval. Uh, of course, it, the ultimate approval is uh, at the plenary level, but uh, at, uh, we need to ensure at the committee level that there is g agreement on the um, various dimensions of the strategic plan. Uh, similarly, uh, there is the financial plan, which is the critical part of uh, establishing the financial basis for the ITU for the period 2012 to 2015, which is the next plan of retention period. And so where does the money come from that runs the ITU? Well, mainly from the contributions of member states. Uh, but there are also provision for contributions from sector members. Um, cost recovery is another dimension that uh, needs to be included among the, um, the income of the union. And uh, all of this needs to be considered uh, at this plenipotentiary conference to establish the financial basis for the next period. And I understand you're trying to inject a bit more flexibility in the system because at the moment if, if someone wants to pay a little bit more, they have to pay a lot more. And, but you're trying to int introduce some flexibility. Could you tell us about that? Well, according to the current uh, system, which is specified in the convention, um, under the article that applies to the finances of the union, um, member states are, are restricted in the amount they could pay above a certain level. Um, they are restricted by the classes of contribution that have been established many years ago. Uh, but um, many member states believe that uh, those, those step classes are out of date and they needed to, needed to be reviewed and changed. Finally, just give us some idea what that means in terms of human resources. Are you trying to change the makeup, the, uh, promote more women into I, uh, the ITU, uh, different ethnic groups? What is it? Well, it's really to modernize the HR function in the, um, uh, in the union according to UN best practices, which focuses on uh, gender balance, um, on more emphasis on uh, capacity building training, uh, and so on and so forth. So a more equitable geographic balance in the makeup of the staff of ITU, these sorts of things need to be addressed in the, in the revised resolution.